The purpose of these videos is to orient you to what components look like and how you act on them. If you haven't yet viewed the Watch Me First video, please do that first as it lets you know what to expect. As you read in Chapter 5, coded segments are segments that have been linked to one or more codes. This video is in four parts. Part 1 covers creating, storing and simple retrieval of coded segments. Part 2 covers complex retrieval of coded segments using the coding query. Part 3 covers counting and comparing coded segments, showing the Code Matrix browser, the Code Relations browser, and the Crosstabs feature. And Part 4 shows other interrogations of coded segments, showing the typology and configuration tables. You've already seen component orientation videos on both codes and segments. Here's a segment that has been coded. You could say that because both segments and codes are components in the program, that when a code is linked to a segment to form a coded segment, it's not necessary to think of this as a new and separate component. Whether or not it is technically true that a coded segment is an independent component, we think of it that way because so much of interrogating activity revolves around coded segments. Creating coded segments is the process of coding in MaxQDA, and as you saw in the video on codes, there are different ways that coding can be accomplished. Perhaps the easiest way is simply to select a segment of data and to drag and drop the code onto it, thus producing a coded segment. As we explained in Chapter 5, coded segments are the primary building block for interrogation activities in code-based approaches, because so many interrogations result in the final outcome of a group of coded segments that taken together have some meaning that is apparent or is to be determined. This is a project about the financial crisis and its implications on people's lives. Here we have a code, Informal Effects on Social. At the strategy level, I might be clear about the meaning of this code, and I'm ready to retrieve its coded segments as evidence to flesh out my description of this concept. Or, I might be unclear about the implications of these informal effects, and I want to look at the coded segments for this concept to reread and assess those implications. Either way, my interrogation at the tactics level requires retrieving the coded segments for this concept. Because coded segments are segments that have been linked to codes, they are stored at codes in the code system. Remember that the numbers in this column are telling us how many coded segments are stored at each code. We can easily retrieve all coded segments at a particular code across all documents by asking for an overview of coded segments. We can do that by double-clicking or by right-clicking and choosing the relevant option. This displays all coded segments across all documents in the overview table, and I can access them one by one by clicking on each row. As you can see, as I do this, the coded segment is displayed in the top pane of the overview window and has also been shown in its source context in the document browser behind. Notice that the informal effects on social code is a top level code in the code system, with subcodes hanging underneath it. Because the hierarchy of subcodes was on view when I opened the overview window, MaxQDA is displaying here only the six coded segments stored at this top level code. However, if I collapse the hierarchy and then ask for the overview of segments again, you can see that now the overview window is retrieving 65 coded segments across all documents. This is because collapsing a hierarchy makes the hierarchy functional, gathering together all coded segments at the top level and any subcodes underneath. So organizing codes into hierarchies like this can be used as a tactic for allowing us to retrieve and review coded segments that, for example, represent dimensions of a higher level concept altogether. But what if we want to retrieve coded segments for two or more codes that are not stored together in a hierarchy in the code system? For example, I might want to look at all the coded segments linked to codes that capture positive expressions, but these codes are stored in different areas of the code system. I'll show you two tactics for accomplishing this strategy. 
firstly using code sets, and then by activating combinations of codes and documents. So here I've created a code set called Expressions of Positivity, and I've gathered together in this set all the codes that I want to think about together in this way. The video on code sets shows how to create them, but I can just drag another code in here quickly, and you'll see that this doesn't move the code, but just creates a shortcut to it from the code set. I can access the overview of coded segments in the usual way, and as you can see, I've now got all the coded segments available at any of the codes in this set. Like retrieving coded segments from an individual code or a hierarchy of codes, retrieving them from a code set displays coded segments across all documents in the MaxQDA project. But it might be that I want to look at these coded segments only within certain documents. To do this, I need to activate the codes and documents that I'm interested in. And this will display the relevant coded segments in the Retrieve Segments windows. So I'll just open that up. It's currently empty as I haven't activated anything yet. I can activate the positive expressions codes via the code set. And because the codes are not duplicates, but shortcuts, activating them from the code set also activates them wherever they are actually stored in the main code system. Nothing appears in the Retrieve Segments window yet because I haven't activated the documents I'm interested in. So I'll just scroll up and I'll activate all the documents in the Survey Document group. And now you can see in the Retrieve Segments that I've gathered together all of the coded segments at any of the codes within the Expressions of Positivity set, but only amongst the Survey Documents. In the usual way, clicking on one of the flags in the Retrieve Segments margin window will show me in the document browser that coded segment in its source context. If I want to change the Retrieve Segments to only those occurring in the Focus Group documents, then I first need to deactivate the Survey Group, and then activate the Focus Group document group. And now in the Retrieve Segment window, I've got coded segments for any of the codes in my set, but only amongst the focus group documents. So the retrieve segments window shows combinations of activated documents and codes.